At almost 400 pounds and addicted to alcohol, David was in a downward spiral he was sure would send him to an early grave. I found myself at 29 years old having all of the things that I thought would make me happy. I had a successful business, I was married, I had kids, I had the house, I had the whole package. And I just felt empty. I had to do something, take an action to try to be happy. And for me, that was food, drugs, and alcohol. I would eat up to 10,000 calories per day just from fast food. Then I would switch to alcohol, prescription medication, opioids. I was addicted to everything. I remember several times waking up literally surrounded by fast food wrappers. And I just kept getting heavier and heavier. When I hit 320 pounds, I just stopped weighing myself. My body was absolutely falling apart on me. I had blood pressure so high, my doctor told me, you're gonna have a stroke. I had a heart condition, I was pre-diabetic. My doctor told me I had the highest cholesterol that he had ever seen. I absolutely felt like I was going back there. On August 5th of 2005, I felt that everybody in my life would be better if I just stopped. I collapsed on the floor and out loud I said, I knew there wasn't going to be an easy way out. I was in a fight. Either my kids were going to spend the rest of their life trying to figure out why their dad drank and ate himself to death, or I could show them what a comeback looks like. That was the day I said, I'm, I'm going to fight. After multiple health scares, David completely turned his life around. He's here today to share his story. David, come on out, buddy. <laughs> transformation <laughs> I think more impressive is just the energy that you emit coming out on the stage how are you feeling I feel absolutely amazing uh, <laughs> I've lost 160 pounds and uh, I think the incredible thing though is that you know nothing from my current life resembles my old life you know, I've, I've run 100 plus foot races, marathons, ultra marathons. I've written a book, strangely, a best-selling book, and uh, I get to share my story all over the world. And, and, and I work as an admissions director, helping other people get, you know, the treatment they need at Mountain Peak Recovery and, and helping them start to believe in themselves a little bit. Good for you. Awesome stuff. I remind everyone, this is not an overnight transformation. And, and I think that's what's important is a lot of people are dealing with addictions. And it sounds like you were addicted to alcohol. You were addicted to food. You were addicted to all these things that were causing you to potentially lose your life. But now you've replaced it with things like running and positive elements. I want to ask you, what was it like the day you crossed the finish line in your first race? You know, of all of the amazing things, including today, that <laughs> have happened in my life, you know, nothing has been as, as formative as that, you know. Because when, when I first started running, you know, I weighed 300 pounds. And running, 50, it was more like trying not to vomit than it was like running. Yeah, I get it. You know, I could go 15 seconds at a time. And that 15 seconds became five minutes and a half marathon and, and, and eventually the marathon. And, you know, it occurred to me when I finished that, that everything that I thought was impossible seemed possible now. It's the space in between the heartbeats. It's taking my daughter to a daddy-daughter dance and taking my son to hockey and realizing that, um, that I can be that kind of man for them now and show them that there is no such thing as too far gone. And you can change your life. I want people watching right now, if you feel like you're too far gone, Think about David's comment, because you're never too far gone. And here's a man who now runs 100-mile ultra marathons day and night. Started off not able to run more than 15 seconds. You're an inspiration, David. Thank you for sharing your story. If you're interested in hearing more about David's story, head to our website, thedoctorstv.com, to find out how you can also pick up a copy of his book, Out There, A Story of Ultra Recovery.